Today we are demonstrating an air and water sequence valve service using kit part number 95187. The first thing you want to do is assemble your tools, a pair of needle nose pliers, 3 16 Allen wrench, a crescent wrench, and it's handy to have a flathead screwdriver. Make sure you turn off the air and water to your toilet and then pull your sequence valve. And now you can begin your service. We're going to start by unscrewing the bottom cap from the main body. Then you're going to take your 3 16 Allen wrench and pop out that white insert that's in the top. Set it aside. You're going to use the Allen wrench and the Crescent wrench to unscrew the spool. Once you get it loosened, you can usually do the rest without the Crescent wrench. Keep the end cap around, set the spring aside. Now you can unscrew the water body from the main body. Slide all the inserts and o-rings off of the spool and get the rest. If there's any pieces left inside that main body, go ahead and pull those out and set them aside. Slide the spool out use it to pop out the insert from the water body and now you can also set that spool aside because it's going to be replaced and now you can rebuild the spool there's a very large o-ring that goes on one end of the spool slide that back into the water body put the insert in going to lubricate all those o-rings with a little bit of silicone lubricant that came in your kit. You want a nice, light, even coating. Make sure not to get too much because it can gum up the works. Start with a small spacer, then an o-ring, small spacer, o-ring, large spacer, o-ring, small spacer, o-ring, and you can slide that back into the main body. On that end cap that you pulled out from the spool, there's an o-ring that you're going to pull off, set aside, and replace. Put the spring and the use the crescent wrench to secure it into place. In the bottom cap there's an o-ring just up against the threads. You'll want to pull that and in the bottom of the cap there's a nut in spring, you're going to pull those out and replace those. Make sure you tighten those back into place with a pair of needle nose pliers. Replace the o-ring against the threads. Now you can screw the bottom cap back onto the main body. Make sure to put the o-ring onto that end cap and then you can put it back into your toilet and go back into service. And that's your air and water sequence valve service with kit part number 95187.